Hey, I'm Jim Weber in the Fox 13 Weather Center. Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. Well, we continue to watch uh, still Tropical Storm Ida producing quite a bit of convection, seeing some pretty heavy rains working their way across, say, the southern end of Mississippi into Alabama, also into the Panhandle. And a lot of this rain just continues to work its way up through Mississippi. It will continue to bring an additional two to four inches of rain across these areas as we go through the next day or so right now top winds are at 40 miles an hour it's moving to the north at nine miles an hour so it's been a fairly slow moving storm since it's made landfall now it's going to continue on that northerly track eventually turning more towards the northeast and it spreads those heavy rains across tennessee into kentucky and then working its way up in the direction of the northeast but eventually losing those tropical characteristics i think over the appalachian mountains but still bringing quite a bit of rain over the next several days. And we'll finally say goodbye to Ida. But look at some of these rainfall totals in and around southeastern Louisiana into southern Mississippi. You are seeing rainfall totals from really uh, just maybe two to four inches of rain just outside the heaviest areas. But then it quickly ramps up seven, eight, twelve. 15 inches of rain where you are seeing that purple shade where the purple goes into more of a white shade that is over a foot of rain in some of these areas by doppler radar estimates so certainly a lot of very heavy rain and a lot of flooding in this area as well so really just huge amounts of devastation because you've got the you've got the flooding you've got the wind you've got all the power outages and the things knocked down uh, it's going to take quite a bit of time for this area to recover. Now, further out into the Atlantic, no issues with this. This is uh, once was uh, TD number 10, which is now Tropical Storm Cape. Uh, this is working its way to the north at eight miles an hour, just the way you like to see the tropical systems basically working their way out over open water. So that will eventually move into some cooler waters and that should be it for Cape. Further out into the Atlantic, we have another system working its way off the coast of Africa. Uh, up to about an 80% chance that we're going to see some development with this. So it's that time of the year where we really have to pay attention because we've got a lot going on. Also watching the Western Caribbean, uh, another air disturbed area there, which could show some development over the next several days. So we're lots to watch. We'll keep you updated right here on MyFoxHurricane.com.